You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. and streaming live all across America. This is Home Talk USA with Michael King, where we will discuss topics pertaining to your home with industry-leading experts. Michael King is a licensed general contractor with more than 30 years of experience in home improvements and the author of Contracting with the King. Join us this hour for our segment, Invent America, with your co-host, the inventor lady, Rita Crompton. Discover what's next in the home improvement industry and explore new products and innovations. Or if you have that next great big idea, learn what it takes to bring your invention to the world as Michael King and Rita Crompton talk to America's inventors and innovators. Remember, the America of tomorrow is being invented today. We invite you to visit us at HomeTalkUSA.com, one of the best resources for home improvement information around today. Your best life begins with your best home, and there's no place like Home Talk. That's HomeTalkUSA.com. And now, we proudly present Invent America from the number one home improvement radio program in the country, Home Talk USA, with your host, the Cajun contractor, Michael King, and his co-host, the inventor lady, Rita Crompton. Yeah, welcome America. That's right. It's always life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Me and Reader uh, is back behind Master Control. We just got back off of that uh, that big bird from Las Vegas, Nevada, covering the uh, national um, hardware show, the international building show that was uh, at the Las Vegas Convention Center this past weekend. It's great to be back. Uh, I'd like to welcome all of you to the Invent America segment of our show. Uh, now I'm going to bring in my co-host and my sidekick, the inventor lady herself, Miss Rita Crompton. Hey, Rita, how you doing? I am fine. It is so nice to be back, and so much happened last week. Um, I can't wait to share it with everybody. Yeah, you had over 3,200 exhibitors between all three shows, and uh, they combined all sh- well, all the shows together, and it made it uh, really uh, feasible for all of us, and... Uh, I uh, tell you, uh, I could barely keep my voice up. There was a lot of talking, a lot of walking, and uh, but hey, we got through it. And you had a great time. Uh, you were displaying the um, um, at the Inventor Show, the Inventor Lady booth. That's where I was uh, broadcasting. And next week, we're going to have some uh, some inserts of some of them interviews next week. And I'm proud to let our audience know that. But uh, what uh, what was your take on the show, Rita? Well, just your play on words there where you said it was the Inventor Lady show, I'm not sure that they will appreciate that, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so for us, it was it was a great show. We were in a wonderful location this year, 600-square-foot island, right in the middle of the entrance area. So people were going down both sides of, of our booth, and it was just everybody was like, oh, my God, you must have paid for this placement. Yes, yes, I did. Um, but it was a really good placement, and you don't always get to be where you want, but it's nice that we've kind of worked our way up in the pecking order to be in the front. Um, we've already signed our contract for next year. I've had people already signing up for next year. Um, we had uh, one gentleman who's going to be on, our first guest, uh, won the Retailer's Choice Award, which is always exciting. And then we had several others that were invited to be up on stage to present their products to the crowd that was out there. Um, you know, a lot of media coming over and taking pictures and, and doing, you know, their their thing, but with our inventors. And so it, it always makes us feel good, um, you know. But, you know, the coverage is nice. But it's those buyers that show up that say, yeah. when can I order this? It's the, the sponsors and, and the suppliers that show up and say, we need to talk about getting this into our stores. And one of the interesting things is, you know, we had a product there that is like, I, I just, you know, I understand the product. And in fact, I had to present his product on stage, but um, I, I, I don't know if this is the right show for the product. Would you believe that this guy had more hits on his thing, all right, which it's a glove mold, but none of us realize that all those plastic gloves we have been using over the last three years, they're full of holes. Yeah, that's right. And he's been doing research for 20 years with his dad, and they now have a mold and a process that will not put any holes 
it costs less to make, they will make more per minute, and there will be no holes in it. Oh. And so he had manufacturers. The timing was perfect for him. He went with us last year, but this year, and that's one of the things we're going to talk about, it's why you go multiple years in a row, yeah. is because now after this, this huge rush and now things are calming down, all those glove factories are retooling and they're ordering new molds. That's right. Now you and that's about, exactly what he is. Now, you had about 25 um, um, inventor uh, exhibitors in your booth, right? Right, 25? right. Yeah. So just about everybody who goes with us, they're looking for licensing. Um, the majority of the ones that go, you know, and get their own space down in the inventor spotlight sections, they're more in startup mode, which is fine. Um, most inventors, when they really re- do the numbers, it's like, okay, we really don't want to go there because um, they're looking at a quarter of a million to a half a million dollars just to get things teed up and ready to be, you know, placed in a store. And most inventors really they don't they don't want a second mortgage of the house to do that. They would much rather say, you know what, let's do some licensing and let somebody else do the heavy lifting and the product liability and all of that kind of stuff. So we've got some good lessons learned out of the show by the different inventors and they're going to be sharing that with the audience with our audience so that they can be better prepared when they say, okay, I've got an idea. What do I do now? Well, Rita, you made some real good points there. And, uh, but you know, like I always uh, say, if you, you know, if you're not going to be a one trick pony, you might really consider that licensing deal, you know? Exactly. And I think it's, I mean, that's what we're all about is sharing with our listeners the lessons learned so that instead of it just being the magic of meeting that one inventor, now we are sharing with the the entire audience all of the lessons that we've learned. Well, I could tell you, um, when I was taping uh, our show for next week and we got some good sound bites that we're going to be playing next week, we had, I I counted four or five um, potential inventors that actually came to the booth and Heard about you, and hey, I heard uh, you the inventor lady, and uh, so so it's good exposure, not just for your your um, um, you know your exhibitors, but you know the success or failure of your organization is at stake here. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to, uh, you have oh, exactly. to exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know, we get inventors all the time that are coming up and saying, I want to go next year. I want to be here next year with you. And, you know, where they just go, do you have time to look at my idea? And it's like, you know, I need you to call me after the show and we can do a video call. But my inventors here have paid to have my full attention. Yeah, that's right. With them. And so I focus on the inventors who are there and what's going on. And, you know, I'll take time to visit with some of the inventors who come by, but really try to get them to, you know, yeah. call me after the show so that we can talk about it. But, you know, I'll get inventors. It's like, why am I not here with you this year? And it's like, I don't know. I've been here for 15 years. Uh-huh. I'm not really hard to find. So, you know, it's good for that. And, you know, good inventors, you know, a lot of them have already started the steps to have on the show with us. Yep, that's right. You know, and of course, too, you know, if they went over there by themselves, they're going to spend between ten and $15,000 and expenses just by themselves. So when you can have one massive place that's going to attract all these uh, potential uh, clients and uh, manufacturers, it's just it's just a good a good uh, cost effective way to uh, get exposure. You know, Rita. Exactly, and that's why we do it. Well, Rita, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, um, you are going to have some of your uh, inventors on the show. I think our first guest is going to be Mr. Dave Fiegel. He's going to be our guest, so stay tuned. I am the Cajun man from the Bayou Land, the originator, not the duplicator. I am the Cajun contractor, Michael King, along with the inventor lady herself, Miss Rita Crompton, my co-host and sidekick. This is the Invent America segment of our show of Home Talk USA, right here on the Home Improvement Broadcasting Network, streaming live on the World Wide Web at GCNlive.com. Let's step away, and I hope you come right back. We will be right back with some new guests, new topics, as we talk to some of the outstanding inventors from around the globe. I'm the Cajun Man. Hello, with Rita. We'll be right back. Yay!
Talk USA with Michael King. Do you have questions about your next home improvement project or home repairs? Now you can chat with verified home repair and home improvement experts in just minutes. Get the help you need by visiting HomeTalkUSA.com, one of the best resources for home improvement information around today. Your best life begins with your best home, and there's no place like Home Talk. That's HomeTalkUSA.com. And now, back to Invent America from the number one home improvement radio program in the country, Home Talk USA, with your host, the Cajun contractor, Michael King, and his co-host, the inventor lady, Rita Crompton. All right, welcome back, all of you. That's right, we behind Master Control. We, uh, Me and Miss uh, Rita, we just got back off that big bird from Las Vegas, Nevada covering the National Hardware Show, the International Building Show, and the Kitchen and Bath Show. All three shows were combined uh, together. Um, Rita, um, well, who's our uh, first guest? Our first guest today is Steve Bowden. He actually lives in Las Vegas, um, and he has been a longtime inventor. I met him years ago when he showed in the Inventor Lady space, when it was a little space, um, and he's been very successful in all of his endeavors. So we are just so pleased to have Steve with us. Welcome, Steve. Thank you. It's nice to be here. So what we're talking about today is just the value of going to these shows multiple times. And because some of our inventors in our booth, they had a great show, but this is like their third year. You came with us. You have been going to these shows since 1995. Um, the show, the product that you had when you were with us was called TV Sound Scoops. And it was, in, it was for people. You, you tell the story because it's a it's a great story and you can tell it better than I can. So let everybody know kind of what is the product. Okay, uh, TV Sound Scoops uh, is the brand name, and basically what it does is it uh, it's a piece of curved ABS plastic that attaches to the back of any TV in the area of the uh, speakers, and it redirects the sound coming out of the TV so that you can hear the conversations on the TV um, much more clear. Um, And it's really a product that is an alternate to a a more expensive sound bar and uh, works amazingly well. Well, and I love your story that you started, you had your first invention when you were, what, you said 11, and you sold it when you were 13. Way to go. Oh, well, actually, that was my first business <laughs> venture. My first <laughs> invention was was a little bit later, and it had to do with uh, inkjet cartridges where we figured out um, how, to com- how to take Ten inkjet cartridges that went in Epson printers, and reduce them to three products, and then we took that to retail and sold that for years. Um, Good for you. In years. So yeah. the the conversation today is about going to these shows multiple times. It's not a you know one trick pony. <laughs> In order to no. really get the value out of them, you've gone you've gone multiple times. But w- the first time you showed um, TV sound scoops, but it took multiple shows that you got someone to be able to be the reseller for it, and then eventually sold the business. Correct. That's correct. So tell us a little yeah. bit about that adventure. Sure. Um, yeah, I started going to CES Consumer Electronics Show um, back in 1995, and I've gone to SEMA, which is an automobile-oriented show, and then I've gone to the hardware show for years and years. And the reason I go uh, freak every year um, is to see what's new, uh, just kind of expand my understanding of products that are out there or ideas that are out there and it and meet people so there's a a lot of value uh to attending the shows on a on a regular basis so well i know i enjoy seeing you every year and um i i know that 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 music's going to start where we need to go and pay some bills and everything but i wanted to let you know we appreciate the fact that you let us ship to you every year and you have a new cooler on the way it's full. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That's, that's that. going to be our secret. Our secret.
secret code there because nobody else is going to know what that means. But uh, you and I do, and I'm looking forward to you know seeing you next year and um, again having you come and, and and walk the booth space with us because these you know we're, we reach out to our inventors to get them excited about going so that now they've got a full year to get teed up, get you know their their patent done, and we can help with right. that and be able to get involved in a group like the Inventors Roundtable. It's free, and now they can come in and they can talk about what's going on and, you know, ask their questions. Sometimes the best resource is the inventor sitting next to them, even if it is on a virtual screen. Exactly. Yeah, I actually met some, several, several, I met everybody in your booth, and um, the enthusiasm that everybody has about attending uh the inventor ladies booth is amazing. I mean, they're just, uh, you know, everybody's just very hopeful that they're going to be successful and, and you can't be successful if you don't take the first steps. So it's a, it's that's, a great that's venue. Right. It, it is. And, and part of it too, is the hardware show is such a misnomer. It should be called the big box store national exactly. show. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> because it covers so many industries. Yes, it, it covers, I mean, literally I, every industry uh, that you can think of, including drug, grocery, everything. I mean, there's products literally for every retailer. I always, so I always laugh at that, you know, venue. high fashion might be a stretch, but everything else you can yeah. kind of throw in there. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So. Oh, Steve, it's let some, me... It's all, I'm sorry, Steve. Let me ask you this right quick, Steve. Um, sure. How many how many um, products do you have right now? Well, question. we're working on a right right now. We're we're focusing on a uh, medical product that, um, with one drop of blood, whether it's animal or human, um, we can uh, a doctor can measure. Uh, and understand what a uh, person's pH is, which stands for potential hydrogen, and what that reflects is whether someone's body is acidic or alkaline, and if they're having prob- physical problems, um, they can be treated uh, much more quickly uh, with our product. So right. we're ho- hoping to release that to the veterinary world and the medical community um, this year. And it's uh, there's nothing like it on the market. It's uh, portable, um, and it's, uh, it's, an, it's an amazing product. Well, Dave, thank you so much. Uh, Rita, how can we find out a little bit more information about Dave? He has a website, I think, huh? Uh, Steve is our guest. Um, I mean, Steve. But I mean. Th- 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 that's, okay. that's okay. You know, if anybody wants to reach out and get in touch with Steve, shoot me an email. Um, that'll be faster and easier at this point. Great. That would be, right. be great. Steve, thank you, for, thank you for being our guest. we got to run. Thank you, buddy. Oh, thank you so much. Take care. All right, we're going to take a short Bye, break. Steve. We're going to come back. We're going to come back with another guest, another topic right here on the Vent America radio program, along with my co-host, Miss Rita Crompton. Y'all come back now, you hear? Yeah, hey. 